Hello, welcome to the Johnson Controls Building Connections Podcast. I'm Martinique Woods, Communications Lead for Fire Suppression Products. I am here today with our Vice President and General Manager of Fire Suppression Products, Reka Agrawal. Hello, Reka. Hi, Martinique. I'm very excited to sit down with you today to talk about the fire suppression products business. But first, for those who don't know you very well, tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. So I've been with JCI slash Tyco for 14 years, 14 and a half years. It's been a tremendous ride. I have had the opportunity to uh, work in a variety of different roles across the company. I started with corporate. I've been in the security business. I was uh, with INS, with Simplex Grinnell for a little while. And I've just had some tremendous opportunities, some great mentors and coaches in my career. And I'm thrilled and honored now to be leading the fire suppression business at JCI. It's been a phenomenal opportunity that I've been given. You just described a rich and vibrant career on the Tyco side. We often hear from our leaders on the Johnson Control side. Please share with us your thoughts about the Johnson Control and Tyco integration. So for us, it's been really exciting and a tremendous opportunity. When I think about our world within Tyco, we were the biggest products business in the former Tyco business. So it's been really fantastic to come together with Johnson Controls and to be part of Bill's organization as as global products, where there's a ton of other people doing what we do everywhere around the world, focused all day, every day on building great products. And it's been an eye-opener for us. I think we are coming across synergy opportunities where we can learn from other businesses. We can see some of the things that they're doing. I think it's been really exciting. The other opportunity, obviously, is as our internal customers, the businesses that are doing installation services are growing. It supports us as well, which we appreciate. Tell us a little bit more about the fire suppression products business. What's important to us and what are some of our priorities? First off, I think it's really important to say that we are a business that really matters because what we do matters to people every day. We build products that are putting out fires in residential and commercial environments, both through water products and also through special hazards products. So we are a business, I think it's fair to say, that's very passionate about what we do because it matters. And so our priorities are about growing the business, about continuing to maintain our leadership space in the the industry. It's an industry that is fairly well regulated. And so we play a role in helping to move the boundaries of the industry and of what we can do to really protect people and property. You talk about how we're a highly regulated industry. Typically, the fire industry moves slowly because of all the standards and codes and regulations required. But we've noticed a trend in the industry with innovation and technology. Can you talk to us about some of fire suppression products' exciting innovations and technologies to support this industry? Let me talk about a couple of examples where we've really done some things differently in this space. So the first one I'd talk about is electronic sprinkler. We invented the sprinkler 130 years ago, and it functionally is a little bit different, but there are some fundamental things that are pretty similar about a sprinkler today that are true about a sprinkler from many years ago. One of the innovations that we've recently put into the market is an electronic sprinkler, where we use an electronic device to activate a sprinkler based on electronic detection of a fire. That is the first time anybody's done that in the industry. And what it really does is it allows water to get on a, a hazard a lot sooner than it would under the former mechanical methods. We think it's a really exciting opportunity. It's not going to replace every sprinkler by any stretch, but where we have specific types of hazards, there's really not a solution for right now that we think this can apply to, and we're excited about that. I'll give you another example, one that's really more globally motivated, which is our new spray safe solution. You may have seen in some places, this particularly occurs in the Middle East, but it also has been in the media um, related to the Grenfell disaster, that sort of thing. There are buildings everywhere around the world that are have been constructed with cladding that is highly flammable. And this causes a risk, obviously, to both people and property in those buildings. So we've come up with a solution called Spray Safe, which we've innovated together with our detection colleagues that we think is a, is a really great solution to this problem. And so that we're just now getting that out into the space and, and we're looking forward to really helping to reduce the school risk in places where it's, it's a real concern. So you talk about two exciting products, our electronic sprinkler and Spray Safe. 
I can imagine that our customers are really excited about these new innovations. Can you talk to us about some of those unique relationships and how we work to serve and provide what they need? Sure. So I think about a couple of them. One customer that we are particularly integrated with is an equipment manufacturer in the mining space. They're somebody that recognized the importance of fire suppression on their equipment, and it's something that their customers are asking for as their customers often put this equipment in remote places around the world. We are actually working with them to design our fire suppression equipment into their mining machines so that it comes from the factory with our equipment already on it. It's, it's a really exciting relationship and one that we think is impactful. Another good example is of a large retailer where they recognize a risk in their facilities based on their layout and the packaging that they were storing. We worked with them to specifically design product for their layout to mitigate that risk. And we've done that over a number of years now, and it's a relationship that has been very mutually beneficial. It sounds like because we're leaders in the industry, our customers trust us. They come to us when they have a need, and we seem to be able to provide a solution. Can you talk to us a little bit more about how we've maintained that leadership in the industry? We spend a lot of time around the world on being a voice of the industry. So we are on codes and standards committees. We're out there talking to people every day about our expertise in the fire suppression space. And we think it's important that people recognize us as experts. And we try every day to bring that to our customers. This is a great conversation. I really want to talk a little bit more about you. You are a leader at Johnson Controls. You've had a great career. What drives you? What are you passionate about? What drives me every morning, the reason I get out of bed in the morning is to feel like I can make an impact. And I love working with people on their careers and helping to develop them as they're growing in the organization. That's something I get really, really passionate about. I have been incredibly fortunate in my career to have amazing mentors, amazing bosses, amazing role models. And if there's anything I can do to, to share that with somebody else, I'm excited to do that. And you know what I would say more broadly about leadership, Martinique, is that in our industry in particular, I feel like we need to do a much better job about reaching out to that next generation and showing them why our industry is an exciting place to be. And I think we need to do that from a diversity perspective, whether it's generational, gender, ethnicity, whatever you call it. Unfortunately, our industry does not represent a really great diversity mix. And I firmly am passionate about the fact that if we can't do that, we're going to lose out in the future. So that's something that I'm a huge believer in. And I'm happy to have Johnson Controls help lead that in our industry. Reka, it's been a pleasure talking with you. My pleasure. Thank you for taking the time to tell us about the Johnson Controls fire suppression product business.